Today we are offering free training to complete strangers, including a sample of Ari and Charlie's freeze-dried dog food to show how some simple techniques can have a huge impact. Let's get started. So we're promoting our new dog food, Ari and Charlie's Premium Cuisine. It's freeze-dried dog food, so we're offering free training if you're interested, and we'll see if your dog likes our food. Now, the very first step is engagement training. We're just gonna start working on getting her condition to the word yes. Is that okay? Yes is going to mean a reward. The easiest way to think about what our words mean to our dogs is what they predict. So yes is going to predict a treat. Now it's also good to throw random words in there so I can go pancakes, rainbow, yes. And then there's the marker. I also like to make the dog come and get the treat. Yes. So this is going, come on baby. This is going to be what's known as a terminal marker. A terminal marker means release and reward. So we're treating yes as a terminal marker. Notice the pause. I say the word, then I move. So I'm not doing this. Yes. That's what a lot of people do because your mind and your body want to move at the same time. So we have to separate it by about a half second. Yes. Very good. Come on, baby. Excellent. This is step one. This is known as engagement training. All right, basic, simple session. Any questions? No, you've actually covered everything. So try the down again. So you're gonna go down, then lure. Down. And now lure. And once he lays down, reward. Beautiful. Same thing with the sit. So what I like to do for the sit is I'll walk back with my hand down at the dog's level to keep them walking. Then when I'm ready for them to sit, I'll say sit, then I'll stop and lift. Gotcha. So give that a shot. See if you can do it. Then say the command and now lift. And then yes, and reward. Beautiful, nicely done. So you also guide him into heel, right? Yeah, yeah. Same thing with that. Say heel and then guide him into the position. Go. And now guide him with the food. Once he gets in the position, reward. Very nice. Your food handling is really nice, much better than most people. So the only adjustment you need to make is putting the command before the physical cue. And if you do this every day, twice a day, five minutes each session, within a week, he'll be doing the commands on verbal. And then you'll have the dog performing. And then you can just stand there, go down, sit, and people will be like, how'd you do that? And it's that one tiny adjustment it makes all the difference in the world. But that's it. Any questions? Oh, appreciate it. Yeah. Awesome. Oh yeah, freeze dried is awesome. It's yeah. it's healthy. The dogs love it. Yeah. And like when I'm training dogs, since those can be a little bit more on the high end, freeze dried is just expensive. I like to mix that in with the dog's normal food. Okay. So I'll train with the dog's kibble, and then I'll have those pieces in. So they those will act as a bonus. So you're training the dogs getting kibble, then all of a sudden a nice high value reward, and that actually increases the dog's motivation for training by throwing in the random freeze-dry treats. Awesome. But I'm glad he likes them. Yeah, thank well, you. thank you. Yeah. I appreciate it. So <laughs> that was much. very nice meeting yeah, you as you well. well. Oh, here, you can take the awesome. rest of these. Thank you. Notice I say it, then I move. Yeah, see. Yes. So you can hear it and then go, oh, the next thing that comes is the reward. Now that I have him doing that, now I can start using a concept known as luring, and he loves this food, to get him to do what we want. And then I'm gonna do it down. Wait for that butt to go down. And I gave him a piece right there. So if a dog is putting an effort to get a reward and they don't get it right away, some give up. So right there, I was giving him one for putting in effort. So this happens where the dog will keep their back end up, but they won't lay down right away. And if that's the case, what I do is I get down at the dog's level and I just keep giving them rewards. And what will end up happening is he's gonna get tired of having his butt up in the air and his butt will eventually go down. Yes, there we go. That's what we wanted. All right, well, thank you for letting me work with your pup. That was fun. Oh my God, thank you guys. I'm all of you.